Welcome, G-Man Division 5B, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, to your weekly recap with Gunnerside and Balzra. Hello. Let's do this, I guess. Uh, the uh, Global Braves win against the uh, Cookbot Cannibals, but at what cost? As the uh, Strength Force Kink finally wets the dust. Well, I say finally. He's only been on this uh, Earth for, uh, for a couple matches. Like, he, he's not that old. Yeah, and I want to say this before everyone stops watching. Like, I had a bounty on that skink, and it apparently, yeah, the halfling coach killed it. So, Anadon needs to get in touch with me, because I think it's like a fiver to a charity of his choice. I don't know whether I count Rebel as a charity or not. Are we doing charitable work? I don't know. Uh, we are making uh, live people's lives more enjoyable, so I I count that as charity. We are, but they're people who can afford a gaming setup in like Discord. So I feel like, in terms of charity, we're not like up there. I don't know. So yeah, Aaron Dunn needs to. I'm gonna give it. I think I'll probably give it to like special effects or something, unless Enadad like DMs me and like is like tells me where he wants to go or whether he wants me to transfer it to him. Special so, yeah, effects. Yeah, he needs to get on that. So if someone can, if like I've already pinged him, if someone could ping him and like tell him that he's got like five pounds to spend on charity, then that'd be great. But yeah, onto the game. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just a. What can we a, say? <laughs> just a beatdown. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> was strength. I mean, to be fair, that's too much. Too much stat. He got the MVP as well. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. He got an MVP to level, and that level, that level could have been block or wrestle. Wouldn't it? Could've I mean, he was always on, he was always on life support, wasn't he? Because he didn't. He doesn't even get block or wrestle on normals, so it was going to be a struggle to. Yeah. Like, I mean. Anyway. <laughs> well, we just finished the other recap. We're, we're tired. Um. Yeah, I mean that was that game. Gaston oh, Canyon. We carry. We're going straight on. All right. I mean, well, it's Halflings. What do you want to say? It's Halflings lost another game. <laughs> okay, we'll carry on. Complete <laughs> a pass though. They made a two square pass. They. So they got that going for them. Anyway, yeah. Next game. Sorry. The does it throw teammate count as a completed pass? It might be. That oh, might I'd be love it. it if like one completed pass was a throw teammate on the skink, which killed it. Yeah. Either way, uh, I mean, <laughs> the, the Reds just won 4-0. And, uh, yeah. Bungie Man was... Turning up. <laughs> What's up with the interruption these games? Like, at this, this recording session, like, we've been absolutely owning each other. Um... Yeah, what was I gonna say? Right, Bungieman was complaining about some kind of dice in uh, Discord, wasn't he? I just uh, yeah, I just think they were. 4 0 four nil implies some dice are involved. So. Yeah, like three blitzes or something. Yeah, that sounds that sounds cool. Three blitzes, hat trick, blackout, petrol pierce. Arguably the worst player in the league in terms of performance. <laughs> Gets M and G and earns zero SPP. Love to see it. Yeah. That Blitzer is a meme. He's had claw since week one. <laughs> He's been on 13 SPP for I think half the season. Uh, games. <laughs> oh, it's kind of it's such a given. In a way, it's such a given to Rat team because its go runners are really good, but then it's got like one level on its Blitzers, so it's very unreliable. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Four nil. Um. So yeah. Three Blitzers. If they were short kicks. It's not a fat lot you can do as undead with uh, one tackle. Uh, yeah. Because you're so slow, apart from the whites. So you've got four pieces above movement five, so... Yeah. There's only so much you can do sometimes against rap. It's the whites and the ghouls, and the ghouls like dying. Yeah, and the ghouls are like, a bit squishy. Right. Zero uh, removals for the rats there, which was a thing. But then again, you don't need removals if you get a bunch of buzzes. So One the second. bridge burners, oh, I just sneeze. They they uh, won against the elves, the dark elves, the crazy. Um, and I think I can see why they made seven forty five blocks and uh, removed twelve. Poor look lazy. You can interrupt me now. Hello? Uh, hello? Oh, not this again. My internet is fine, dammit. 
20 milliseconds of ping. He muted himself. You're muted. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure he, he, he did that for a good reason. Anyways, back to the game. Oh god, that MVP on the Lino. Oh god. Uh, right, Kislev apparently going full bash and just absolutely destroying these Dark Elves. Apparently, as you do. Um, yeah, I mean... I don't think there's too many interesting stats. I mean, there's an armor difference for you. They're both um, AV8, in case you were wondering. As I... Uh, Desperately waiting for my co cast. Right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm He's back. He's back! Okay. Oh, right, yeah, I was, I'd just been invited to like a, a 50s, 60s, and 70s theme party. What? Don't, a... don't ask. Yeah, I'm not going. Uh, anyway, sorry, where were we? I'm sorry for just cutting out on you like that. Yeah, uh, big I, fan I of how you said it. nothing. Like, yeah. I, I, I did, I think I, I did try and say, like, I'll be back in a second, but it was like. Do you not hear the knocks on my door and like no. yelling? No. no. Oh, yelling? Good, that means the soundproofing's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was coming through. That's why I quickly muted myself. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Back to the well, not back to the show. You've been here the whole time. Where where are we? Uh, hype show. I was just talking about how the kids have absolutely ruined these elves. Oh no, probably look lazy. Oh yeah, God, that's a lot of red. Uh, no permanent damage. He'll he'll survive. Isn't there an armor break on the Lino who leveled? Yeah, no, no, that's the light. No, it's not. Wait, he kept the armor bust on the Lino? What do you mean? The there darkest. Was no armor bust. The, the, the armor bested lineman didn't level. From what I can yes, see. he did. No, the... he didn't. Oh, he got fired. Unless he was already armor six. Or armor seven, sorry. Listen to me. Oh. In the oh, game. Yeah, probably, well, if he didn't fire him already, he's not going to fire him now. No, he... oh, Jesus Christ. He had. Here's what happened, alright? In the game, right. a Lino got armor busted, who also got the yeah. MVP. No, that's not true. Yes. No. Yes. No, look at the rebel.net report. Blackout got armor busted, Nightfall got the MVP. They're two different players. Nightfall is AV7. It doesn't exist okay, so anymore. He wasn't, so he wasn't, yeah, okay. He was the one that was moving busted, uh, armor busted before. Okay, I get it. Why right, we're on the same page. did he live? Why? Yeah, why wasn't he fired already? Yeah, I don't know. Didn't I think Lazy said he wanted a bench? Look, Lazy's throwing games. Maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> oh dear, that's a bold claim. I can't really talk about throwing games anymore after that um, Brett game, but yeah. Holy. Why is he? Whatever. I have. Oh, I need to. Whatever. Uh, yeah, dead elves and stuff. And I mean, I'm not even surprised if he keeps armor busts. Blood and Tears lost to the Tunnel Sneaks. Yeah, um, good week for the Skaven. You'd love to see it. Right. Uh, was there a vampire missing for this game? Vampire and G, maybe? Might have been. Um, he's only got three. Uh, but Wilhelm Cheney came in and got Kaz, so mm. that was something. It wasn't enough. Apparently this might have been not. another Blitz game. The Rattoga, the Rattoga turned up, got two Kaz. Oh. And leveled. So I think he got a Blitzer to level. That's also exciting. Um, didn't take any damage. If he, I think he lost his bench. I got a lineman died, and another got me busted. But apart from that, oh, and his blitzer with guard got the MVP. That's that's really good. Cause that means it's a vanity pass away from like mighty. That's really good. The the three plus three plus two plus vanity pass, the classic. Yeah. Oh, it's better than the energy two ones. Yeah. No, that's true. seriously really good. Yep. Yeah, I kind of tell. I think he just got they got ratted. Right, vampires are kind of slow, aren't they? They are. Yeah. Cheney doesn't have tackles, so yeah. Well, they're mediocre, actually, if you think about it. They are all movement sets. Yeah, that's true. Take it back. Uh, Tongues and Titans lost against <laughs> uh, the all Norseman team, which is kind of insane. It like, is. We both predicted the dwarves pretty confidently because. Oh, yeah. They're just better. They're they a bit are. slower, but they're just better at blocking than the Norse are. So, a real, like, I don't know. I can't get over it. Dice. <laughs> I still, I'm shocked. I'm, I remember when it first came through, I was shocked that it was 2 0. They had uh, equal armor, by the way. Yeah, exactly. 
Well, that's kind of actually, yeah, that might be. That's might explain it a little bit if the dwarves were getting removed as much as. Also, we intercepted as much something. as the Norse. Ah, oh, it really sucks. I think Vili would be a bit disappointed. I think he. Oh, he reckon. Not a win. It's like okay. you losing think, against those Isles. Yes, Hiles. I do. <laughs> uh, two expulsions for the Norse. So the dirty player game coming in big. Oh, the dirty player level. That's kind of sad. Oof. Okay. Man, Major Boy rolls on. Does. I don't know. Have, well, have you got anything else to add for this game? It seems like. I do not. This is mental. Uh, big win for Major Fight. Pork Squad getting a win against the Chorps. Mm -hmm. uh, a block game where one team outblocked the other one. I guess, or for the course, what can we really say? Yeah. 16 versus well, 8 armor breaks. Yeah, it's, it's one of those games where. The, I was about to say it's one of those where the Hobgoblins like, show how bad they are, but the Chorps have a good bit of bench, so. Unless the, uh, see, I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of what? Just a bit, I imagine it's just a bit of a punch up, and the uh, mighty blow piling on. Just I don't know. Maybe got the KOs. Eh. What does diving tackle zero percent be? Like zero success, three failure, zero. So that implies that I guess that he chose two diving tackle. And then, like, they re rolled the dodge and it was successful. Or maybe he chose to dive in tackle on a break tackle. I don't know. We're getting into the finer nuances of Blood Bowls, and I don't know. We keep asking this, and we never get an answer, and we always end the conversation with, you know what, these numbers suck, and we move on. Yeah. These numbers suck. suck, we should move on. For such a numbers based game, you'd think the stats would be better, but. Yeah. Apparently not. Um, and then lastly, we have the two pre two plus supreme leaders tying versus uh, Erox on tour. No, oh, no, the goblin. Yep. Ah, he's fine. Um. Oh, a goblin level. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, it's a blodge goblin that level. Holy moly! What what a player? Sidestep. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a game. No, no. So, probably some good defense from the High Elves. I expect so. Especially with uh... the High Elves, and the High Elves aren't, the high elves aren't good enough. They aren't developed enough yet to like make some crazy passing play to overcome the Orcs. So. Mm -hmm. I just keep forgetting that strength up thrower. That's such a crazy piece. I, I don't Otherwise. know. I sort of feel like strength up throwers are bloat, but. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying crazy, but not in like a good way. <laughs> Weird way, like it's an odd one. I don't know. Yep. But so, no, no, nothing. A bit boring. Boring little no, no. Yeah, and then again, the uh, the the high elves got four removals. That's true. No authority. Yeah, they do have that mighty play tackle though, so that that helps a lot. To be fair. Yeah. All right. So uh, that was that in terms of teams. Let's go to development, and let's hope there's more development in this division than the other one we're uh, recapping, because uh, the other division got like three levels all all week. That that is a division with two bye weeks and a load of highly developed teams, though. So you can't. Yeah. Just Hopefully, we do get a bit more though. Well, Exodal Braves doesn't start off very well. Uh, they did get a level, but it was the skink that died. Oh. Uh... He has another one though. He has another Rip. strength up skink. Yeah, he has a strength 3 block, which is, I think, probably better than strength 4 without block. Probably. Probably. Because <laughs> it's just needed, because, yeah, they're just never going to get to defensive skill on strength 4. Strength 4 was fun for oh. the memes, though. Yeah, it was a good meme. Sorry for your name. Um, cool. Ah, uh, he'll be, uh, well, I was going to say he'll be sorely missed, but then again, do you really miss a strength 4 skank? Those things are... Yeah. Through the tomb, uh, get a level on expiry date. That's probably a block. There it is. Would almost okay. expect a dirty player at this point, but I guess not. Yeah, you kind of would. Uh, oh well, just coin flip. I guess that's how you want to play it. Huh. So that was that. Darkest delves. 
Dark Elves, right? Not Dark the Dark Elves. Yeah, Darkest Elves. Whatever. Well, that is a lot of badly hurts, and uh, one armor break on blackouts. Then again, a Nightfall leveled and probably got sacked because he got armor busted, or he was yeah. armor busted from before. Um. Yeah. All right. Great. <laughs> Moving on to uh, the tunnel sneaks. Tunnel sneaks yeah, level. rule. Well, we're gonna assume what Lazarus said wasn't important. Oh, the Rasso gets break tackle. Ah, that is inspired. That is exciting. <laughs> then the uh, ra the Blitzer, the rookie Blitzer gets mighty blow. Uh, anything else? I'm trying to trying to look through the roster. I think that's kind of it. Yeah. I love how in the t his, his team description says how beautiful his roster is, and I'm inclined to agree. It's a very interesting roster. Layout. Did you say beatable or beautiful? Beautiful. Yes. See, my team roster is beautiful, is the description. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Just accents. Um, yeah. Just a well put together rat team. It does have a very is good though? two throw it. Yeah. So it's not like. It's not amazing. <laughs> About the well put together part, and it's such a mess as well. It's like ugh. having the line rats together with the gutter runners. It's offensive. Seventeen weeks of suffering. Yeah. Get a level on cannot pick up the ball. Why does cannot pick up the ball have dirty player instead of sure hands? the real question. Either way, he gets top Oh, plus. that is the real question. That's a missed trick. Uh, and, yeah, this I, team is I actually frustrating. No hands, so you can't get that level. Because, like, um, I frenzy trapped myself is the carrier with no frenzy. Cannot pick up the ball, <laughs> doesn't have ball carrier skills. Any other ones? Yeah. There's questions, but when they're when they're third, then like can't really can't do quite too much. Um, don't you play a dauntless? Yeah, it's a thing, isn't it's a it? Choice. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess. <laughs> you do you, Major Biden. Yeah, you do you, Major Biden. You do you. It's clearly working. Yeah, apparently. Pork squad. Uh, get a level on Miss Piggy. I guess movement. Let's look at the movement oh, orcs. Oh my god. That's a lot of movement. So yeah, movement is actually uh, pretty big. Uh, and then Pua. No, Ham. Ham gets Mighty Blow. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, just standard auto development. Yeah. That's all you need. I mean, I All guess that was a case to be made for a guard. Steve is but... currently top of the division by a long way. He is. And he's going to earn the privilege of running into like a horrific kill team in round one of the playoffs. Yeah. Using a 200 TV. Probably. And that is why the only team who wants to make playoffs in the first season is like Woody's or a stunt. Yeah. Yeah. Or rats. Some may call it metagaming, I call it uh, keeping your team in one piece. The Orcs on tour! Yeah, so, okay. um, hold up. Alright, uh, they get Lumigit. Sidestep. Nice. Fair enough. That's the goblin, that's a bloodstep goblin. Yep. Yeah. Uh, great, great, great. He almost expect Feels a bit placey at that point, but with the block, he you can't does, get rid of it. Does he? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what I think about sidestep because ideally he's never on the pitch except for he, when you want her. At which point you would rather have like sure feet or sprint. Yeah, I agree. Maybe like a backup carrier. He's thinking, just like use use the stunty. I don't know. I yes, I mean it's his only blodge piece. Maybe he thinks he's gonna get him to diving tackle, and then he's like a specialist backfield goblin. Huh. 
with blood, shine step, diving tackle. Safety That's goblin. Kind of an annoying marker. <sighs> yep. Yep. That's that. Two plus supreme leaders. They um they have a Lino die and not much else. So, no, not much else. Hmm. Looking halfway decent though. One of the thick coats. They have an MNG on one of their blockers. It's a strength four one as well, so that might be relevant. And other than that, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Something I'm uh, saying more and more as the season goes on. Yeah. How dare you not farm SPP? Tungsten Titans. Um, they get a MNG on one of their blockers, two of their blockers actually, and absolutely nothing else. Classic. A major bite doing work there against the uh, AV9 menace. But in tears. Get yeah, well. Actually, they get a level on the uh, movement. They, he gets pro. Nice. Yeah, that's uh, movement is always nice. Now he has a thrower and a receiver. Uh huh. Vampire passing play is incoming soon. Yep. Bridge burners. I struggle with Rebel.net. Um, yeah. Mostly, like, not because <laughs> Rebel.net is bad, but because. This is a Kislev team that's up to 1700 ah. already. This is like. It's very. They've gone They've gone full blow in its work. They've gotten all the levels. Uh, man, it's kind of. It looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's Hindus levels say. of uh, badness. Yeah, we're not quite there yet, but we're de definitely on the road. Like, one more season, this is going to be like 2300 and looking good. <laughs> yep. Spindle got a level this week. He gets guard. It's a Lino. So, more guard Linos. I mean, the Linos on this team are uh, yep. a thing to behold. You've got two leap guard. <laughs> really good. And then you've got Whiskey Jack. Oh, no. The... Yeah, you've got Blend as the sack alignment. Sack alignment's pretty good. And then you've got the catch and retrieval. Yeah, it's. It's great. Blood sugar. It's pretty much coming together. They might this could be like a this could be like a challenger cup team next season, maybe. We'll see how they go. Yeah. They got the wizard stadium as well, look. So they've got a wizard to work with all of their home games, that will help out even more. I maybe it's even harder to do with wizards. They uh, go well together. Gas town gangers. Yep. Um, where are they? There they are. Uh, Blackout got movement 10. Uh -huh. So he's got a strength 3 and a movement 10. But it's a movement 10 on the Saka. Which is kind of the worst piece you can get movement on. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Runners. Uh, oh, it's a bit of a shame. Uh, so yay, but also oh. Yeah. I mean, it's good because your Saka can get even, come, come in from even further away, which means that you can sort of put him wherever you want. You don't need to think about positioning him because you can probably get there. <laughs> it's uh, true. Yeah, I mean, movement's always good. Or I maybe I don't know. I, there's no, there's a world where you can skip it and go straight to strip ball or tackle because he doesn't have any tackle yet. That's the problem. I mean, skipping movement uh, on the gutter runner is like spitting. But skipping movements on a gutter runner is is I don't know. It's like skipping strength on a blocking piece. It's like or claw on a turf blocker. Yeah, I don't know. I think I might have been able to find a skip though. I might have, you know, after a thing, might have been able to skip it. But I don't know if I'd have been able to live with myself afterwards. Huh. I understand it. Apart from that, I don't see any other development. Uh, neither do I. If there's a P, if there's a if there's, if there's enough reward for like worst piece of the season, I think I'm gonna nominate Petrol Pierce. Is <laughs> man, he has not lived up to his potential at all. Um, but yeah, apart from that, the that's it. I think no other development. But everyone got a lot closer to developing with that with that four 0 Hmm. 
And lastly, we have the cookpot cannibals, but they only have like a jump buff, halfling die, and, and nothing else really. That's kind of good to be honest. That sort of trims the TV a little. You know, takes it back to one of them. Yeah. Just in a place. Then again, do they really yeah, care about you? It looks like a really well organized team now. You've got the two. You've got a good tree and a break tackle tree. You've got the two potential one turners with a shift beat, I guess, and then you've got all the stats. You've got a stat for every occasion, and then you've got some shot. It's all good. Just needs uh, armor now. Yeah. Just needs to be armor seven. Yep. I mean, it is <laughs> a fun team to look at. It is, uh... Yeah, it is a fun team to look at. I imagine it's quite a fun team to play as well. Yeah, I'd imagine. Either who, uh, the next week's games, we start off with uh, this exact halfling team versus the orcs on tour. And I predict the orcs. Uh, Call me yeah, crazy. I the orcs as well. Yeah. Uh, pork squad versus 2 plus a <laughs> that blodge, Is that the one with the blodged out goblin? Is that the old team with the blodged out goblin? Because if it is, it'll do work. Uh, it is not. Oh, that's nice. No, it is the uh, movement up. Guard, Blodge, Blitzer one. Um, I mean, they are leading the division, and it is quite a decent team. And uh, I mean, the Hiles, they have some good players, but they really need some more development. So I'll go with the Orcs again. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I played the Orcs. Okay, I, I was afraid you got another invitation to like a party, like Egyptian no, theme. No, no, no. No, I'm not that. I'm not that popular. Okay. Uh, 17 weeks of suffering versus one thick coat. I mean, the strength for blocker is out. Not, I feel like I have to. I think you have to predict major bites from here on out. Like, <laughs> yeah. No way you can't. Okay. what he's done with so with such a <laughs> random team like yeah major bites. Let's see what I predict. 17 weeks of suffering, um, surprisingly enough, not the suffering for him, but for his opponents. Yep, so uh, yeah, major bite it is. The Tunnel Sneaks versus the Tungsten Titans, I mean the Tungsten Titans are missing a couple players. But the Rat Team is bad. Yeah, yeah but the Rat Team's got a Roger. So I'm gonna predict the rats. Exactly, it's, I'm not it's bad. I'm not biased at all. The great tackle rogue is gonna come in and like <laughs> occupy, occupy some dwarves. Come in it's with a steel gonna, chair. It's all gonna come at rats. I, I rack it. Nah. Nah, it's not. Yeah, the dwarves are gonna, um, you know, get their shit together after last week and um, finally break AV7. Yeah, to be fair, I see that argument. Darkest Delves versus Bunteers. Uh hmm. I mean they're very close to each other on the leaderboard. Yeah, it's a close one. I think I'll predict the Dark Elves. Uh, yeah, I'll Josh. go with yeah, you know what I'm gonna go with the Dark Elves as well. I De think definite no fan bias there, right? Oh not at all. No. Um Yeah. I I like I haven't played very many vampires, like as them. I play, I tried them in CCL, but like I'd get two games in and then face like super min max underworld and cry. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, There's a person who always plays the super min max underworld and Nurgle. That's a good time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's I, what you live for. Do vampires struggle against Agi? Because I feel like they sort of do. I mean, they, they don't have space for, you know, tackle, and Agi can sort of stay out of the way of good hit gazes and out maneuver them. Yeah. So that's why I'm gonna go with the, uh, the Dark Elves. Yep. Yeah. And then lastly, we have the Gas Town Gangers versus the Exile for Braves. Mm. Now the lizards are a bit beat up, but then again, the gas town gangers have only won one game all season, so it's a tough one to predict. I think I'm gonna go with the gangers just because like that that four nil might have like sparked sparked something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Maybe. the blitzers, you mean? Um, 
yeah, I'm gonna go with the rats too. Especially with the movement, but I think I, I, there's a case to be made for both teams almost equally. Yeah, so that was that in terms of predictions. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the leaderboard, I guess. Yep. Um, and in terms of that, we this see is a lot less close. Well, it is kind of close. The, the fight for the challenger stick is really close. Seventh up. Well, eight, eight till two, or eight till second, are all within a game. Um, but this is Steve's division to lose at this point. Seven zero to do with a big orc team. Yeah, well, uh, only a four point lead is uh, it's not insurmountable. Yeah, but it's it's more than a game. It's more than a game away, and there's only four games left in the season. So I feel like I feel like they, Steve will bring it in. I think they're gonna try for the. Um, they're gonna try for the sweet sweet BBA one two three four lockout because <laughs> you've got uh, Mr. Shady who is in uh, only a game away from fourth place. But he's so played this week's what, game major, already. The main what I said I think that's what they're going for. They're gonna try and get first, second, third, and fourth all with a uh, sweet BBA. So it's on. It's on like look lazy and the other coaches to try and stop that happening at this <laughs> point. That's like the game, That's like the goal. So that'd be kind of embarrassing, just like. One clan team, not even the full clan, like four teams in the same clan in the same div, just locking it out. That'd be quite incredible. That'd be a bit of a power play. Uh, it's a statement and a half. Yeah. I wonder how they're doing in clan league this season. Mm. Oh, we can Do you reckon they're doing as well as we are? Uh, <laughs> Stop. Uh, <laughs> don't want to cry. Have we lost three times this week yet? I can't remember. Because I lost last night, Jones. We're zero and four. Like... <laughs> Shit, have we already lost three times this week? I think we have. Oh my god. Oh, so I'm really sorry about it. I, I don't know. I'm not sorry actually. Last week, this was really close against a high IL team with no tackle. I did pretty well this week, but it was fine. Anyway. We've won three matches all season, man. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. It should have been four. I'm really sorry about that. We're that three and 15. <laughs> How many? Who's won those games? Is it. I've won one of. Like, I think I won either one or two of those. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great stuff. Uh, well, sweet, sweet BBA is doing uh, half decent. That's two and two, middle of the pack there. Are we in the same? We're not in the same division, are we? No, they are in Div One and we are in Div Three. I feel like the promotion we got was a bit over the top. Anyway, we uh, deserve we the promotion. Div... We just sort of. We haven't had a good season, but we did better last season. I'm sure we'll turn it around. I mean, sort of, I mean, now we have two, but we have two like bus teams in the form of me and the Goblins. <laughs> so it's kind of on the other three teams to get the results. Cause my yeah. team's a bit decent. At that, you have become the bus together with the Goblins. One, one war dancer would elves when you've got 150 TV value in like a tree. Uh, Sack the tree, yeah. go full inducement. Well, go full inducement. Oh, I think no. I think it's. I don't know. I see. I feel like this isn't a discussion for the recap. I need to. Think that's about true. More. Um, uh, yeah. Either way, I think that's uh, that's us. At the exact yeah, this this recap took the exact same amount as the last one. So, thirty three minutes each. That's uh, pretty good. Yeah, it is. It means we've cut most of the waffling on about nothing in particular. We say as we just spend two minutes talking about the clan. That's true. Either who, if that's even a word, we'll be back next week. See you all then.